Welcome to lecture 21, exercise 2. The challenge is to write a program for a lawn mowing service. The lawn mowing season lasts 20 weeks. The weekly fee for mowing a lot under 400 square feet is $25. The fee for a lot that is 400 square feet or more but under 600 square feet is $35. The fee for a lot that is 600 uh, square feet or over is 50 per week. Prompt the user for the length and width of a lawn, and then display the weekly mowing fee as well as the total fee for the 20-week season. If you would like to attempt to solve this exercise on your own, go ahead and pause it now and try. If not, you can follow me and now I'll solve it. So basically, the first thing I'm going to do is ask the user for the length and width of the actual lot. Once I figure out that, I can calculate the square feet of it so that I can figure out how much it's going to cost per week for the specific lot. So let's go ahead and ask the user, come to that right line, enter the width of your yard. Actually, let's do length first. Enter the length of your yard. Then I'm going to create a variable that holds the length. So I'm going to say int length equals int dot parse so I had the length then I'm going to say console the right line enter the width of your yard and then int width equals int dot parse So now I have the length and the width. Now I need to get the square feet. So I'm going to say um, int square feet equals length times width. So now I have the length and uh, length times the width. So basically now I have the length, uh, square feet. I need to use if statements to figure out how much it's going to cost per week to mow the lawn. So it gives me like, basically the rules I need to follow. So it says the weekly fee for mowing a lot under 400 square feet is $25. So let's first set up that if statement. So for that, I'm going to say if square feet is less than 400, then I'm going to do something. Basically, all I'm going to do is set the price to $25. But right now, I don't have anything to set the price to. So I need to create some kind of variable that's going to hold the weekly price. So I'm going to say um, int weekly price and I'm going to do semicolon. I'm not going to give it any value yet because the value is going to be determined by the actual if statements. Um, it's going to say either 25, 35, or 50 depending on the size of the yard. So if the square feet is less than 400, the weekly price is $25. So I'm going to say weekly price equals $25. The next one is saying um, the fee for a lot that is 400 square feet or more but under 600 square feet. So for that, I'm going to say else if. Now, I'm doing the else if because I don't want it to check each if statement. It can only be one of them. So I'm, I'm going to use the else statements to link them together. So if square feet is greater than or equal to 400, but it says but under 600 also. So and I have to say n square feet is less yeah less than 600 so it could be greater than or equal to 400 but it also has to be less than 600 to fall into this price category which is 35 per week so I'm gonna say weekly price equals 35 in this situation so basically the last check now is if the lot is 600 square feet or more but because I'm already checking everything less than 400 or I mean everything less than 600 actually all I have to do is say else here because the only thing left is everything above 600 because right if I type in 10 right oh it's gonna fall under this one or 0 I'll fall under this one or uh, 500 will fall under this one everything has a category that's under 600 so the last thing is else that will get everything 600 and higher I could if I wanted to say else if um, square feet is greater than or equal to 600 but I don't have to do that because I can just say else and then it doesn't even need to run the check. So if I say else weekly price equals 50. So now depending on the whatever size of my yard, the price of it will be determined based off of the square feet. 
now that I have um, how much it's going to cost per week, the, the challenge asks us to say, um, display the weekly mowing fee as well as the total fee for 20-week season. So the 20-week season, and then there's a we uh, weekly fee. So let's do that. So at the end, we're going to say, right line. the weekly fee is placeholder. And then I'm going to plug in weekly price, whatever it's, it got from the if statements. And then for the 20-week um, season, I'm going to basically do the same exact thing, but I'm going to plug in a times 20 for this. So I'm going to say right line. The 20 week season price is, and I'm going to do weekly price times 20. Now I could put this into a variable, and if you can, if you want, you can still do that. I'm just doing this um, so you can see it right next to each other. So weekly, the weekly fee is weekly price. The 20 week season is just weekly price times 20. Really simple. So if I run the program, it's saying how big's my yard? I'm going to say 25 by 25. So it says the weekly fee is fifty dollars, and then the twenty-week season is a thousand dollars. Let's try another one. Let's try a five by five yard. The weekly fee is twenty-five dollars. The twenty-week season is five hundred dollars. And then let's try another one. A twenty by twenty. The weekly fee is thirty-five dollars. The twenty-week season price is seven hundred dollars. So. That's it. The hardest part of this uh, exercise is just the if statement. Being able to realize that if I create one local variable, I can set the price of that depending on the if statement. If it's less than 400, the weekly price is 25. If it's greater than 400 and less than 600, it's 35, and, and else it's $50 if it's, if, if it's neither of those if statements. Once you can figure that out and figure out that you have to create a variable to hold those, it's really simple after that. You just print out the weekly price, and then for the 20 week season, I just times it by 20 because there's 20 weeks. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty basic, but it does take some thinking. But I think that once you see how it's done, it should make sense to you. If you understood the videos um, from the previous lectures, this should make logical, logical sense.